Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Shea, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. For today's video, I took inspiration from my friend Angela. Um, about a week ago now, she posted a traditions outfit idea slash inspo um, video up on her channel, and I thought that it was a great idea, and I wanted to make one of my own. So, if you want to check out her video, you can um, go to the link in my description down below. I'll have the link to her video. Um, but yeah, I took inspiration from her video, and today I wanted to give you guys some ideas of what I'm going to be wearing to, to traditions, excuse me, and um, what you guys might want to wear too. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first outfit I have is um, the most casual outfit that I have. Um... Most of my outfits go with a pantsuit that I have that I thrifted, um, but not everybody's going to have a pantsuit, so I came up with some that are more casual but still fit the tradition's look. So first off, I just have these really flowy pants, and they're about like ankle length on me, and I'm pretty short, and they're really cute, and of course I would iron them before I wear them, but... Um, yeah, and then I would just pair it with actually this black tank top that I have on right now. I plan on pairing it with these pants. And then also just a black blazer, a black regular blazer. Um, yeah, so this is the first outfit. And then I don't have the shoes yet, but I would probably wear a pair of black flats with it. Um, just because it has the black stripes. So, yeah, that's the first outfit. <laughs> This next outfit I have is also on the more casual side. It's just this black and white mini skirt. And then I would pair it again with this black tank top, a black blazer, and maybe some black flats. Um, it is a little bit shorter, so it would be nice for the Florida weather, but it is still pretty modest. And with the blazer over top, I think it would look pretty professional. So yeah, that's the next outfit. These next two outfits are when we get into the pantsuit outfits. Now, this pantsuit is something I thrifted. I think I got it from my Goodwill um, for, I think, $10 um, total. Like, the pants and the blazer were separate, but I just matched them together because they're black. Um, and they were, like, $10 total. So, if you're looking for some professional attire, not every Goodwill will have it, but you can try it. And um, also, other local thrift stores. Um, so, yeah. So I just have this black blazer, um, again, something that needs to be ironed, I can't really show you very well, but it has a little button on the front, so you can close it, or you can keep it open if you want to, and then it just goes with these black dress pants, um, normal black dress pants, yeah. And then to go with this pantsuit, I have two different shirt options, um, the first one is this adorable green and white polka dot shirt again another um item that i thrifted and you can just pair it with you can wear it with the blazer or you can just tuck it in and wear it with the pants um either way would be really cute i think i would style it style it either way based on the weather if it's rainy that day maybe i would wear the blazer if not i wouldn't um so yeah that's the first shirt and then the second shirt is this adorable green again um long sleeve shirt and it's pretty flowy so it's like not too hot and i would probably tuck it into the front of the pants yet again and i just think it's super cute yet super professional and yeah guys that is all of my ideas for my traditions outfit if you have a favorite outfit let me know in the comments down below because i don't know what i'm going to be wearing yet um these are all my options that i have 
If you wanted to look at Angela's video, the link will be in the description down below. She's who I got this idea from, so you'll definitely want to check out her video. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I move in to Flamingo Crossing in a week, and I'm super, super excited. So if you want to follow me along on my journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram, where I'll be documenting all of my journey. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.